Hey, it's Dapsi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited to have you join me in this tutorial. I want to walk you through this amazing tool here called Nilio Unlocker, as you can see on my screen here, that will literally help you clone any website to a different WordPress page builder. This tool works well with Gutenberg and also with Elementor. While there are so many pros and cons to this tool, I will show you them as we engage this tutorial. Just try and follow me all through this video. No time to skip in between because this is not a very structured tutorial where I can tell you the pros and the cons. So without further ado, I think we should get started already. So right here is neliosoftware.com forward slash unlocker. I will leave a link to this tool in this video description so you can check it out uh, so once you come here you would have the option to just try it now but if you want to peruse their website super simple here enjoy clean code keep your content become seo friendly unlock your content experience blah 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 so from here this is what they say their conversion looks like so you can see literally identical this is the original one and this is the converted one whether or not this is the same, we're going to experiment. So like I told you, follow me all through this tutorial. So I think without wasting time, let's just try to get started with this tool already. So if you come here, just hit the try now button. You would be required to log in here, but if you don't have an account here, you just need to register one. So just come here, hit the register button, and then you will be asked to provide a username and a password, accept your terms and condition, and go to next and go check your email. From your email, you'll be able to see your username and then your password for you to come back here to log in. But since I have a username and a password, I will want to log in here. So this is exactly what it looks like inside of this tool. Very basic, super easy platform, nothing complicated. As you can see here, it says it's Gutenberg time. So just paste in your URL and then unlock as simple as that. Uh, but if you come up here, you can switch in between Gutenberg or Elementor. I'm not even sure I have a website that I want to use for this tutorial purpose. Maybe we should even experiment with your own website. Let's see exactly what we can do with it. So I'll just uh, paste your URL here. It's neliosoftware.com forward slash unlocker. So let's unlock this and let's see what this tool is able to do for us. So as you can see here, page unlock successfully and this is amazing. One thing again I must commend this tool for is the ability for it to render a page super, super fast. In some instances, it's able to replicate a page within split seconds. That's how good it is. So let's come here and let's view this. Let's see what this is able to do. As you can see here, we have something more like that home page here. And I think this is super amazing. So as you can see. So that's it. This is everything is able to uh, do. Uh, sometimes you might need to do this over and over and over again for you to be able to have that perfect clone that you want. So that's one of the not so good parts of this. So if I redo this, I might maybe not have this here or maybe have something entirely different here. So as you can see here, it's not able to walk around this page. And I think I should just open up that page here so that we can compare. So this is exactly what it is trying to replicate here. So you can see. So this is not aligned properly. So that's not really a very good one. Uh, if you come up here. So I want to believe this too is not aligning properly here. If you come up here. So you can see it's not getting the color there. But that's fine. Uh, these are the things we can literally edit eventually inside of WordPress. Uh, so if you come up here, the picture here is not popping too as well. That's also fine. So, but if you come here to the left hand side here, you would see that you have the option to play with several preview settings. So if we go to Coral, for example, so we can see here that the color has changed. You can see that uh, literally. So the color here has changed. So we can just literally play with quite a number of things here. So we can try the Go Trendy Champagne too as well. Uh, so you can see it's changing the text, it's changing the design, it's changing the button. And this is super, super amazing. And that's why, in my opinion, I think this tool is best for someone who just wants to switch in between content management system uh, or somebody who is trying to switch in between page builders or choose in between themes. Uh, so you're not particularly looking to clone the exact same thing, but you are open to further customization. So that's a very, very good use case for this tool. Uh, so if you are okay with this, you can just literally add this too. 
cart. And that's bringing me to another pro of this tool. It's literally free for you to test, for you to check if this would work for you. You don't need to pay a dime. You're only going to pay for what it has been able to customize or clone or replicate for you. Another thing you can check is the responsiveness. If you come down here, you are able to see how responsive this is. As you can see here, it is responsive pretty much well. So you can see it here. Super, super amazing. Uh, so right now, I can just literally just remove this all together. So we can see that's gone here. So now let's switch the page builder to Elementor for us to see exactly what this tool is able to do for us. So right now, when we come up here, we can just switch this to Elementor. And inside of Elementor here, let's experiment with the same URL. So I will just control paste that here and let's try to unlock this tool as well and let's see. Fantastic. So this is done to as well. So we can view this too. Let's see what we have. Okay. So this is uh, the mobile view. Let's switch this back to desktop. Let's start from desktop. So you can see here that we don't have a full page view here. So you can see this is not a very good result in your opinion but wait before you make up your mind. So you can see in this case here, it's not even able to generate the results here at all. It's just saying unknown form. Uh, so right now it's not able to generate anything at all here whatsoever. Before we just make up our mind that this is a very useless tool, let's come back and let's see, see what we can do. So even the outlay here is not good and that's where the power of this tool comes in now with Elementor. So if you come right here, instead of just changing uh, the text and the outlay of the page, you can switch now in between your current theme. And this is currently working with Elementor. I would have been happy if this also was available for Gutenberg. But hopefully, this is in the pipeline for Gutenberg too as well. So right now, I might want to see what this page will look like if I'm using an Astra theme. And I want to bring this into my Astra theme. So right now, I can just select Astra. And let's see what this would come up with. So you can see now, this is literally looking exactly like what we have here. And I think this is very, very, very beautiful. So now the design is full, we can come down here, we can see even though we have slight difference in button colors here, but we can customize this eventually. And this is super, super, super cool. So let's say, for example, I'm using Bloxy and I want to see what this tool would look like. There's a slight difference here with exactly how it looked with Astra, now with Bloxy. Uh, so we can just switch in between. For example, let's just look at generate press so we can see all we have here is error this is not able to work well with generate press at all uh, so right now we can come down here come to a low elemental and i love the fact that it's able to work with quite good number of noticeable big wordpress themes in the industry right now this is exactly what it looks like using a low elemental I would want to switch this to Astra and then I can add this to cart. So this is added to cart. So right now, let's go back. So as you can see here, I have this Elementor page here already added to my cart. So right now, let's just view our cart first to see exactly what will be pinged. So if I come up here to my cart here, so you can see here that I can check out for just three dollars. Just imagine if your website is a 10 page website. So it means you're going to pay three dollars for each and for those 10 page it means you are paying 30 dollars it means that you're paying for exactly what you're using this tool to do unlike other tools out there that you need to pay first before you even get to use the tool in the first place and i think that's why i love this uh, tool here so you can come down here if you are happy with what is been able to do you can try to check out so here you have the option to pay with your credit or debit card. You can pay with PayPal, Google Pay, Amazon Pay, or do a wire transfer. So that's literally up to you. So I'll just try to check out right now. So you can see here that a purchase has been done. And then we can just literally just download this. Right now we have this downloaded here as a JSON file. So we can just bring this into our WordPress website. So inside our WordPress website right now, for us to be able to bring in that page, that design into our existing WordPress website, we will need the help of their plugin. So if you come here to wordpress.org, you can see that they have a plugin here called 
nail you unlocker slash importer. So you can download it from here and import that plugin into our WordPress website. But let's just search for this plugin inside of our WordPress repository. So let's come here, let's come to plugins, let's come to add new, and then let's search for this plugin, and then let's install this plugin. Okay, so this plugin has been installed and activated. So now let's come to tools here and let's come to import. And then here we'll see an option here for Nilio Unlocker. So let's run this importer. So here it says we should choose our JSON file. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to choose the JSON file that we downloaded. So I'm going to just select this and just open this up. Now here we have some options here to select whether or not this is a page or a post, but this is a page, that's good. So we're gonna give this page a title. I can just call this Nelio. But in your case, if you want to use an existing page, you might just uh, click this option here for you to uh, override selected item with imported content and then come here to select the existing page on your WordPress website. So right now, what I want to do is to import this right now. So uploading images to media, and this is doing its magic, so let's give it time to finish up. Okay, so we have this over and done with, so we can do a new conversion if we want to, but right now, we can just easily just edit this page. Because it's an Elementor page, we're going to edit this with Elementor, apparently. So just like that, we now have this page inside our Elementor WordPress website. So you can see we can easily edit this, change text, change the button. Uh, from the button here, we can change the color. This is quite amazing. What I love about this tool is that this tool is working with every page builder and every of the theme you're using. This tool is not trying to rip a page with a custom CSS and wrapping them in div such that you're not able to customize them. This is literally bringing all the elements and that's why sometimes you not get the perfect clone because uh, the website you may be trying to clone do not even have uh, corresponding elements that can replicate that in your page builder, if that makes sense to you. Uh, so right now you can come down here, make edits, make changes, so you can see this is an image box. How accurate is this inside of Elementor? This also is another image box, an adding here, and this is amazing. So you can even see here, we have this even displaying way better here inside of Elementor than we saw there on uh, the preview inside of Nelio. So we can just open this up here big time and you can see this. Once we are done here, we just need to hit the publish button here. And our page is live, so I can just come here and then view our page. So this is how super simple it is for you to just clone any page out there and then you can bring it into Gutenberg or into Elementor. So you can go check out this tool, experiment with this. Let me know your experience using this tool in the comment section. I'll be looking out to hearing from you. It's literally open for you to test for free. So what's stopping you? Check it out. If it works for you eventually, my time for this tutorial. If it's been useful for you, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see more awesome tutorial like this from me. I'll see you in another tutorial and until then, stay safe.